YouTube chat back again with another request. This is honestly like, I, I think my chat's trolling me at this point, but people keep asking for mutinous gameplay and I get why, because mutinous plays like every mutinous lobby plays out differently. The hero itself is absurdly busted. We recorded this at the same time as the previous mutinous video where we have a 1.8 average on mutinous at the moment. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. Mutinous is incredibly flexible. Every game plays out a little bit differently. You're able to effectively pivot your board into a variety of endgame minions, do all kinds of different pivots with it. And uh, sometimes, in the case of this video, we just power level. And I mean, like, we got an early Warden of Old and we just level straight to five on turn seven, winning the rounds while we do so. And once you're on five on turn seven, uh, let's just say that the minions on five are pretty good. And when you're consuming minions for extra stats and you're buying good minions to do so, well, let's, uh, yeah, it just kind of gets out of hand pretty quickly. Weird. Power leveling while staying healthy equals good. More at 11. Pepperji, Pepperji. <laughs> All right, everybody. Enjoy. So we have scaling off of all of these. This is passive stats for next turn. If we hero power it, which we probably do as long as there's Murlocs on the board. So we probably put that down. So we're always doing this, right? This always happens because we want the big minion. The question becomes the other three. We hero power something and we buy next turn to level, right? Which means that we just have to hero power this if we buy it. Otherwise, we have to hero power Glyph Guardian. We're not going to do that. So, Murkai gets more attack if we get any Murlocs on the board. Not to mention it's already the best stat line. A 2-4 added to this is better than a 3-3. And obviously, a 3-2 is worse than a 3-3. Math checks out. <laughs> so, we just take the Murkai. Hope that there's some Murlocs on the board. No more locks. Now we could buy something else in hero power to keep this on the board. Like for example, if we had the party elemental, we could have taken the rock, then hero powered the rock. Would have been nice. Unfortunately, we, we don't have that. It's just a better stat line usually. And you get like, you know, two thirds of a murloc on each board. So it's probably just take and sell or consume the Molten Rock, right? Same deal. Murkai gets value if we get Murlocs on the next board. Glyph Guardian eats all the buffs. It's not a bad minion to eat the buffs in the mid game. Toward the end game, it's obviously not a useful minion, but you don't keep it on the board. let's be real here this is your our typical mutinous board just a couple random two stars with as many stats as you can possibly put on the board leveling the three on turn four still wins the fight and we're looking for a way to go to five aggressively this is a hell of a minion we're totally buying this so we're actually selling a minion this turn. Odd. You don't do that too often. I want to consolidate these stats. So you'd like take this hero power and we just roll. We could sell this off for this. Maybe we don't worry about consolidating stats. Now nah, that's silly. Now nah, that's just silly. We just burn the gold. It's fine. Pair is okay. Divine shield's better. Sell the two four power or double buy. Yeah, except the two four is not better or worse than a three three. 
The 2-4 is a better minion to consume on later turns. So like, what was our objective with double buying? We buy a minions that, that's worse than what we already have on the board. That just seems bad. <laughs> Might as well not buy and roll twice and line up a better minion. Now with our gold, we don't even have to hero power here. I wish this thing would fucking find a murloc on the turn that we, we consume. But you know, tis our fate. Oh, good hit. Mostly just selling to make sure it didn't get the buff. I mean, it getting a buff isn't a big deal. It's going to be consumed next turn anyway. Spreading over the two was probably better for that combat as well, right? We didn't need more stats on the Glyph Guardian. We needed that not to get value traded to have a good combat outcome. What's up, Baboomy? And we didn't put the Warden on the bo uh, board until after we consume. So all of it's fine, right? I like it. So, yeah, we could have used the gold coin instead of consuming a minion. I get that. But at a certain point, trimming down your board is good. Trimming down your board allows you to make big divine shields. Very consistently. Not only that, but we get a Keck W Grief uh, Ragnaros over here. <laughs> Not really uh, our intention, but... <laughs> He's gonna have fucking... <laughs> oh, I can't help but chuckle here. <laughs> He's gonna need 15 kills still. 14 kills. On turn 6 combat. Why don't we play Rag, guys? Why don't we play this hero? He's gotten 11 kills in 6 rounds. I don't want to level. I can just 50-50 this into here instead of selling it to make one big divine shield. It is an extra gold. Let's just 50 50 it. A little unfortunate. risk it yeah i think we lose the round because we went to five after all on turn seven and that means we get the warden of old value still and the extra minion or the extra gold actually equates to an extra minion if we want to use it for exactly buying four minions next turn now we'll consume to do it but still the, the gold's still useful maybe i'm overestimating how good bran is is that possible? <laughs> Hit this one. No. <laughs> Could we ever be overestimating Bran? I think he's one of the worst heroes in the game. Maybe he's even worse than that. What are these? Any world we go to six? No quill bores, no mechs. What are we looking for? It's good shit there. These, this fucking board is trash. It's not a bad hit. If he doesn't have poison and this thing overkills multiple times, we Gucci. Imagine being upset at winning. I'm not upset about winning. That health means that I'm safer to just level straight to six. We're on six on eight goal on turn eight, guys. Our board is the world's biggest wildfire elemental. A big divine shield and garbage. Yo, Bofer, does the hero power work with temporary attack from ground shaker? Yep. It just consumes any any stats that are currently on a minion and adds them to another and it just is counted as the spit upon buff. 
The spit upon buff does not get removed at the end of the turn. So in other words, ground shaker buffs, auras from pirates or murlocs or whatever, all of that is per added as permanent stats. There's often someone dead on turn eight. We're doing great. Mutinous is just gross, man. Just gross. Like we have a 35% not to take damage here. Let's go left and then hit right. Hit right here. Good effort. Good hustle. Good hustle. You tried. I'll give you credit. Does 8K MMR on phone translate to top 5 NA? There are, what, 5 top 25 players that play on mobile only? Sorry, my friend, you're not going to get that benefit of the doubt. There are quite a few of them. Quay does, BV Bat does. A couple. Game's very playable on phone. This is okay. I think I'm gonna roll for better things. Like that. Never lucky. <laughs> it's fine. I'd buy it if it was on the first board. I think I, I don't save it. Even Selly plus that. Never lucky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Never lucky, guys. Coin flip left. Unbelievable. Bob, you need to not be a dick. Short term, just not a dick. That's all I'm asking for. All right, we lose, but we lose small. Couple fights that could have gone our way. Could be a little healthier, but let's be real. We're 23 health still. We're on six with a lot of things. I think I'd freeze that nine out of 10 times. I don't think I would. We can leave this on the board. If it gets buffed, I'm consuming it at the end of the turn anyway. Can do slightly better. Slightly better. By leaving the elemental on the board, it makes the buff or the gar buff better. Oh, he got his hero power. How nice for him. What was it? Turn nine to get his hero power? <laughs> uh, I've been playing this hero so wrong. I think a lot of people play wrong still, which is evidence that maybe some of the new heroes will be a lot better once people figure them out. But at this moment, those new heroes miss me with that shit. There's no cleave in the lobby except for wildfire elemental. I'm not going to play around a big wildfire over killing a 30 or a 15 health minion. Hit Imp Mama. Yeah, I would just argue that the way to play the hero is to always be looking for the way to go to the next tavern tier. Just always be looking to go up. You got a big battle master to stabilize. Well, he did. A nineteen eighty one on turn ten and died to not poison. Crazy. Yeah, he probably got one turn of rag hero power exactly. Poor guy. Yeah, we can do this. Ha 
that's the card. All right, which one do we want on the board? Eliza or Imp Mama? Long-term value of Imp Mama can be a little bit higher, but we probably sell both of them over the course of two turns. So do we view Eliza as better right now? I can't imagine that we're keeping it after we have Hamul next turn. So it's not better for this turn. I already know my answer. <laughs> I'm really talking to everybody else just for the sake of talking right now. Like this is always what I do, but. But, 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 but. Explain your thought process. The attack is relevant still. We don't have huge minions and we're gonna consume this to start next turn anyway. And Mama has more upside though? Why? You think it's gonna be good against this board? I think you might be severely overestimating how good Imp Mama is at this point in the game. It doesn't value trade anything. All it is is just a 6-8 stat line. Like maybe it value trade this, but you just get an A an elemental. Or sorry, a, a random demon off of it. It'll get rag buffs, but we said what we just said. We are not keeping it this turn, right? Like it's the thing that gets sold this turn. So which one's right for one combat? Because everything else is just a no-brainer. This thing gets consumed to start this turn. Which one's good for exactly that combat is the only consideration. Hmm. Take the triple first. Probably take this first. Um could sell genie probably should sell genie too right okay, we do we do it in the right order take you first you 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 Ah, fine, I suppose. So this one's got to go too now. Nice. Nice lag there, game. Divine Shield's really strong. But we didn't get any buffs on it to start either. So, like, we'll just keep trying to scale. Yeah, it's a Murloc, but the pirate gets fucked over by us, and we can just kill this guy, maybe. Both Gars go down to a single Spore. But at the end of the day, the important factor is that he is just better at RNG than us. And now we're probably going to lose to this guy, because he's going to go big Murlocs, and we're big Elementals. Which is lovely. These are irrelevant. These stats don't matter. These do, but they're very small elementals. Should have consumed that for the 3 2 buff. Very annoying. Selfless? Selfless is just one minion, right? If every minion trades every minion, Selfless doesn't take off a divine shield or something. So it really doesn't do anything. What we need is the triple, and what we need is to find divine shields and consume. What we need is ghoul, but we found none of those. As 
still an 80% to win. That's a good hit. That right there is a good hit. That'll do. Still makes it super close, but... Went to lunch, did I miss a rare elemental game? Yeah, we leveled the six on turn eight. As mutinous at like 32 health or something like that. That's, um, that's mutinous.